What is up everybody? I just got back from my musky trip up to northern Maine and this fly was an absolute killer. Like, oh my god, it was a killer. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Um, and it's now my new favorite musky fly for Maine. Look at it. Look at how small that is for a musky fly. Um, okay, this is a five odd hook. To start, I'm taking two black feathers, the more rounded ones, and I am going to put them on the inside, and that's going to be our tail. We are starting, this is a gamakatsu um, five odd hook. You can definitely go up, you know, depending on what kind of musk, but if you're fishing for musky in Maine, that's in Maine, not elsewhere. Um, this is, you know, musky are so finicky. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even want to say like, oh, use this fly for other musky because probably will never catch any other musky ever again in the world. But for Maine musky, because um, they definitely, so I've been fishing for them for several years now. They definitely like smaller flies, without a doubt. So. On top of this, I'm going to come in with some thinner flies, and I'm going to add it um, sort of on the side and even on top. I'm going to kind of spread it around on top, and sometimes, this is going to sound crazy, sometimes I'll take a bite, so I'll take three here. Um, here's three feathers, and I'll just kind of lay them down on top and just tie them all in as one big unit. And just kind of make sure that they're even and spread around. One, it's super quick. Two, I don't know, it makes this like flowy tail um, that I just, I like. So sometimes I just do that rather than being really careful. It makes this just kind of crazy tail. So there's my tail. This fly is only, I don't know, six inches long, five inches long. It's about... Let's find out. I should probably know. People will want to know. Okay, it is officially six inches long, which is incredibly small by musky standards, right? Um, the vise that I'm using, if you're wondering, I do get lots of questions about this. This is a TRV from HMH, which is the best vise in the world. I'm pretty convinced. It's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Can do like anything from size like 22s I tie on it to 5 aughts, 6 aughts. Um, I'm going to come in now with some black bucktail and just basically wrap around. You want the tips to go um, about halfway-ish, halfway down the tail. That looks about right. Um, you don't want them to splay out too much, but a little splay is, is fine by me. Because, you know, I'll say though, you know, musky do like that, that water push. So I'm going to make them flay out a little bit. Now listen, this fly, you're going to want to add bells and whistles to it. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, just don't add all the bells and whistles. Just don't do it, because if you're going for main musky, this is all you need. Okay, so there is our first little patch um, of bucktail, and then I'm actually going to come in, give some space here, give a little bit of space, like so. And I am going to add another layer of bucktail, but this time I'm going to tie it in. This time I'm going to tie it in um, reverse, reverse tie, and I'm going to do a bullet point tie. Or, uh, yeah, why not? All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to do a reverse bullet point. This one's not going to be um, super, super flayed either. When I say flayed, I mean like, like the uh, deer hair is 
flayed out or, or spread out um, this way. So I want this one to be relatively tight around this shank. So here we go. Push back. Come on. There's my bullet tie. Great. So you see it's not super flayed, like a little bit, but not like crazy. The more you use these flies, like the more they get used. This splay action will settle down and it'll turn into a nice fish. Um, now, where is it? Where are you? Where are you? I'm trying to remember. There it is. Aha. Now, we're going to grab some black marabou. Here we go. And we are going to lay it right on top. Kind of like riding the, uh, the bucktail. Right on top. Great. Make sure that it stays on this top half. I don't want it going below on the bottom half. Okay. Now I'm going to come back in with a smaller layer of black bucktail. Something not as thick, you know what I mean? So this might even be too thick. And again, I'm going to, this is a little tricky. What I'm going to do is do three loose wraps, hold the marabou in place push down on the bucktail, pinch the sides, push down, pinch the sides, and let go. That will keep the marabou in place on the top half while spinning your deer hair 360 degrees around your um, hook shank. Because we really don't want any marabou getting on that bottom half. I think I have one strand. Ah, oh, that one strand of marabou. All right, so that's it. Nothing too crazy on this back half. Again, you're gonna want to put all the bells and whistles. I'm also an idiot, and I ran out of black thread because I'm an idiot. So <laughs> you should be using black thread. I'm using this is olive. You know. Does it really matter? Probably not. But, um, you know, maybe it does. All right, so I'm whip finishing. Again, this front, this is gonna be pretty much covered up. So if you want though, for added security, you can put a little drop of super glue on your knot. Come on, come on. You know what happened? Uh, super glue sucks. And it clogged. But what glue doesn't clog? Imagine if you could make a glue that didn't clog. Oh, you'd be so rich. All right, so that's it. You can kind of see what's happening is that we have almost a hedgehog look. The bottom's not as flared, but it's sort of a hedgehog look. That marabou will be very flowy throughout the body on the top half. Next. You're going to come in with a 20 millimeter shank. That's a 20 millimeter shank. Let's go again. All right, so I have zoomed in for us. So you see, I've, I've put that thread back quite a ways um, on this shank here. This is to avoid this hook eye from going any further than halfway, and I should even have it a little bit more. You really don't want to be messing, boom. You want enough room for the eye of the back hook to swing, but you don't want enough for it to pivot and have it go, see how it can't go any more than that? That's it, it can only go to here. 
So that's where I wanted that. Okay. Now, back to our black bucktail. And this is where you get to be the decider of how flay -y you want your fly to be. If I can find some decent patches here. I'm running out of, of buck. Come on. Oh, there we go. Ah, I need a new tail, too. I'm just a mess right now. Just an absolute mess. I'm moving. I'm in the process of moving. And I'm, like, rebelling by making my fly tying desk just abysmal. Um, all right, so now I'm going to come in with a bullet tie. And I'm going to sort of hide this back section with my bullet tie. So we're going to come in. Do a couple pinches, boom, 360. That's not perfect, but whatever. Didn't want to leave my tips this long, but I like them to just go to covering that first little section. But make sure it's 360 around, looks pretty good. Then we will push it back. It's gonna look a little funny to start because um, of your hook, you know, like it just looks funny, but don't worry. Okay, there's our first bullet tie. Now we are gonna take Marabou, our friend, Mr. Marabou. Hello. Black. Just kidding. <laughs> First, we're going to tie in some longer feathers. Here I have these black longer feathers. These are going to go right over the top on both sides. So I'm on one on this side and one on this side. But again, focusing on the top. You can have them as long as you want. I like mine to definitely reach to the back half of the fly. Why, Greg? Why are you doing this? Because it adds a little more movement to the fly, and I think musky really like movement. I don't know. Does anyone really know what musky like? That's that's the, the question of maybe the the universe. Okay. That looks pretty good there. Just secure those in a little bit. Great. Now we'll come in with Mr. Marabou. Again, just one feather. I'm not like going crazy. It's just one feather of Marabou. And that will go over the top. Great. Again, we want it to stay on top. Okay. You should be at this point. You should be running out of room where you're like, uh, Greg. <laughs> uh, how can I crowd my fly? Please tell me. <laughs> well. So then I'm going to come in with one last thing of bucktail, which I am in serious need of a new tail. Let's see here. These are too long, but it should be just a little shorter. I mean, it shouldn't be, it should go about to the tips of the marabou which should be about halfway down your fly. So, should go about, uh, about halfway. Yeah, halfway is a good, maybe even a little less than halfway. Depends how you like your, your, uh... <laughs> okay, so, be careful not to work too closely to the front of the eye here, but this should be a little shorter. I'm actually going to cut that. I probably have too much here. I might even thin this out. Well, 
If we stay focused on the back, then it won't really matter. Okay, good there. So we're going to do a bullet point tie. Oop. So do that same push pull, push pull thing. Is that going to be too close? How is that spread? Pretty good. Okay. Don't want to do too many wraps because we don't want to build up this big gonky looking thing in the front. Now, I'm going to put all this strength test into this thread. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to come in with some peacock curl. You really want to use a lot of peacock curl. All right, so it should be about the same length as the fly. What I do like to do after putting the peacock in is I do like going out front of the deer hair just to sort of create a dam, you know? I don't know if it actually helps, but I do like to create a dam. And then I'll just put a few more wood finishes in, in the top. Now, we have this large uh, bullet here, which we need to cover up because this isn't very pretty now is it? So I am obviously going to use some super glue and and if it comes out, which it will right there and I'm going to add these cool eyes that I have that everyone asks where I get and I I wish I knew because <laughs> I would tell you um, but I don't know where they come from um, I have a pack of them, of several thousand. Uh, why did I get a pack of several thousand? That too is a great question. Um, I don't know. I don't even know when I got them. To be honest, they might not even be mine. But I do have them. Um, I'm sure you can find them on eBay or Amazon or whatever, but... Um, yeah. So, there's our eyes. See the cool tabs? They're, they're just tab eyes, but they're, I don't know, they're, they're different um, than the ones that you buy at the store. Um, so once I go here, then I have some solar as thick. I'll just come in the top here and fill in some quick gaps just to make sure that everything is sturdy. How are we doing there? We're doing okay there. So I'm going to zap it. This is really more just to keep the eyes together um, and not breaking open. Don't point the, whole, the UV light towards the camera or at you guys because that is how you blind your audience. Okay, so here is our fly. Boom. Dunzo. Look at that. Let's see if I can get this out of the way and show you. Ah. Okay, there's our fly. Little wiggly trailing hook. Um, because the trailing, because of the hook is trailing, it falls like this. It does not fall face down. It falls vertical, like so. Because most of the weight distribution of this fly is in the back end. And I think that might be why it's was had some great success. So this looks, you know, very fluffy. Um, after quite some use, and this has been beat up by several musky, you get more of this fish body um, where this one's still pretty poofy. But um, maybe I'll go give it a rinse and show you guys what it looks like then. But really dense up front. Nice, some good, uh, some good wiggly action there in the back. And yeah, just a very flowy fly. And it works super well for me um, in the Allagash region, St. John Valley. So if you're heading that way, this could be a fly. If you'd like to buy it, let me know. If you want to tie it, have questions, let me know. But if you're going to hunt muskie, uh, good luck because you're going to need it. <laughs> okay, follow me on Instagram, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, check out our website, do whatever you want. Don't check out our website. I don't care. Uh, do whatever you want, but whatever you do, make sure you're enjoying it.
Hope you like this video. Hope you chase musky. If you do, you're crazy just like me. So I appreciate you. All right? See you later. Peace out.